Hello everybody out there on YouTube. We are the middle-aged guys, or at least two of the middle-aged guys. For tonight, I am the Reverend. And Grand House One. Our usual suspect partners are doing things in real life, but that's not going to stop us from making videos and making commentary about the industry, video games, and anything geek-related in general. Um, this particular video that we're going to, we're starting up, we're going to talk about a, a particular set of bills that are moving through uh, a lot of the, um, excuse me, the north central states, uh, starting with Nebraska. Basically, uh, there's a set of right of repair, right to repair bills that are going through. And the first one is actually was moving through Nebraska. And the rest of them are going through other states like New York, Minnesota, Wyoming, Tennessee, Kansas, Massachusetts, and Illinois. Hey, what's up? What's up, you? <laughs> <laughs> um, the reason why they're uh, an important thing to us is that these right to repair bills are huge issues because what ended up happening is that Apple jumped in on the right to repair uh, bandwagon and they started lobbying against these bills because basically what these right to repair bills are asking for is that manufacturers of hardware, of electronic hardware uh, and other modern devices that they need to go ahead and supply not only tools, but also instructions and information on how to repair their particular products, whether it be smartphones or smart devices. And this ranges all the way into like the Samsung, um, you know, smart kitchen devices like their refrigerators and and and, and uh, ovens and other things. And then there's also for the gamers out there, it extends into game consoles uh, with things that are made by. Nintendo, Microsoft, and Sony. <laughs> wow, she's just not gonna. She's not gonna stop. <laughs> um, so, what we have is that we have a, a whole bunch of like uh, first-party manufacturers who are actually doing some really anti-consumer things. Basically, the right to repair bill says that if you happen to have a product and you send it out to a third-party repair um, repair technician, whether or not it's a car. Actually, it started with a car business. This is where all this stuff uh, comes up. Um, you know, whether or not it's a car or, let's say, um, an appliance or a, a lawnmower or something else like that. Anything that can be worked on somebody who's not directly connected to the manufacturer you can go ahead and they can repair your product, okay? Once they get done with repairing your product, the thing about it is that a lot of a lot of uh, first party manufacturers will sit there and say, "Oh, hey, look, they didn't take this." All right, we're gonna have to start this over. <laughs> this is this is becoming way. Too... <laughs> 